Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's Bendy and the Ink Machine video, we take a look at the third and supposedly final audio recording for Henry that set things up for the game's big finale with Bendy Chapter 5. With just over a week until Chapter 5 launches at the time of recording this video, I'm certain we'll have all our burning questions answered very soon. But remember to check out both of my previous analysis videos for the prior two recordings so you're all up to date on where the story is so far, or at least my interpretation of it. I'll link these videos at the end of this one. In the meantime, let's take a listen to this new audio log from Henry and see if we can extract any exciting new information from it. This may be my last chance to record a message. I'm pretty sure you saw me talking into this thing. You probably won't let me keep it. In the first segment of this recording, we hear Henry sounding distant and lost, almost as if he has finally given up hope. He seems to be talking about one specific person, even though we know he has two captors, as mentioned in previous recordings. There's crazy things happening down here. Monsters. Demons. Angels. And right now, two of them are holding me prisoner. However, in this instance, he is talking about one person. I believe this person is Allison Angel. Why? Well, in my previous theory, I discussed reasons why I believe Henry's two captors were Tom Boris and Allison, and that I believed Tom Boris is Thomas Connor. I mentioned how I felt Thomas Connor's personality would be harsh and untrusting, going by what we've heard on his audio logs. He seems very cautious and careful. If Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this, someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. So I believe Tom would not wish to free Henry, and instead, treat him as a threat. However, Alison, from the little we have heard from her, seems to be gentler and a more understanding character. Henry? Why are you here? I feel she has been outside Henry's cell, listening to his recordings in secret, getting to know him day by day, and finally coming to the realisation that he is trying to stop all the wicked goings on at the studio. Henry has noticed her listening to him, and feels that she may now take away his tape recorder. However, I feel this is the moment directly before Chapter 5, where Alison sets Henry free from his cell, and agrees to work with him to escape the studio and try and stop the Ink Demon once and for all. Now let's take a listen to the next section. There's not much left to say except, Linda, I miss you. I love you so much. Coming back to this old place, well, it only reminds me of how much I gained. Finally, we hear some more from Henry about the mysterious Linda. I covered an entire theory video all about Linda a few months ago, so make sure to check that out for several different potential theories on this mysterious woman. A lady Henry has mentioned before in this audio clip during Chapter 3. I haven't seen Linda for days now. It does sound from this particular recording here as though Linda is Henry's partner, either his girlfriend or wife. This is because he uses the words, I love you. She could of course be his sister or just a good friend of Henry's, but this seems less likely given the way Henry delivers the audio here. I miss you and I love you so much. This means it is likely one of the key reasons Henry originally left Joey Drew Studios was not only because of Henry's workload and disagreements with his old pal Joey, but also because he simply missed his partner Linda, and being far away from her for long periods of time was taking a toll on their relationship. This is something we've theorised about before, but it's nice to get some kind of confirmation. This also raises the question, where is Linda now? She must be worried where Henry has gotten to after all of this time. Did Henry tell Linda he was visiting the old workshop before he left, and if so, could she possibly come looking for him in the final chapter of the game, making her character far more important than we may have assumed? Particularly interesting here is the line, Coming back to this old place, well, it only reminds me of how much I gained. 
Henry says he's gained so much since he left the studio. He doesn't mention a child by name, so it seems likely he is instead talking about precious memories built between himself and Linda, and a higher quality of life after quitting his old job as an animator. Next, we have this interesting line. I feel like there's so many questions that need answering. So many things that don't make any sense. Henry talks about so many questions that need answering, and so much that still doesn't make sense. What I found funny about these sentences was the way they seem to be subtly directed at the fans of the game. The people playing and following the story of Bendy and the Ink Machine, rather than any other character within the game. Sure, these are Henry's musings, but this game has so many unanswered questions, only Five Nights at Freddy's can rival it in terms of plot holes. And much like FNAF, the team behind Bendy and the Ink Machine are promising everything of importance will soon be wrapped up for us. A tweet went out today, in fact, from the Meatly himself, one of the game's co-creators, in which he said, I can't believe it's only nine more days until the secrets are revealed. I feel like this clip from Henry's recording is echoing that sentiment to the fans. Our questions will soon be answered. Let's take a listen to the final few lines. If anyone hears this, if you make it out, don't ever return. There's nothing of great importance here. It seems to simply be Henry warning others of the dangers at the studio, and perhaps suggesting he plans to never return if he escapes. He may think it's a place better forgotten, rather than alerting the rest of the world to the dangers now living within the workshop. Either way, it has me eagerly anticipating Chapter 5, and wondering how this crazy story will finally end. And that wraps it up for this video guys, having a look at the audio recording part 3 of 3 for Henry as we go into chapter 5. I hope you found these videos uh, that I've been doing interesting. I know I could be way off base with some of these ideas, but I do like to think that I use logic to come up with these theories and hopefully some of them will... Uh, be true will, will happen uh, but of course I don't know and it's just fun I think theorizing these things and it, this game's been a wild ride I, I really can't believe we're almost at the end of Bendy and the Ink Machine it's a game series I believe that started in I think it was February of 2017 I believe it's a long time ago now and I remember playing it with my friend on the channel um, ages and ages ago when this channel was very different to how it is now and just instantly thinking wow this has got potential and I can't believe it's grown into such a polished experience that's even getting a console release now I can't believe the story's gone as far as it has and it's been so mysterious and I think it's just been a really fun game to sort of theorize about and and sort of talk to the community about as it's gone on i was sort of missed the five nights at freddy's hype train i never really got into that series in time um i followed it since but i kind of i'm not deep in that community and i feel like with bendy and the ink machine it's just been a great community to be part of and it's just been a really fun ride you know seeing where the story can go and as i said making these theory videos I want to thank you guys all for following along with the channel, and hopefully you'll continue to follow after Bendy. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more Bendy games uh, coming out, they've sort of said that, haven't they? But, you know, regardless, I hope you enjoy my other horror content on the channel, and my other game theories, my other, you know, videos here. And I hope you'll follow along and continue to be part of this channel. We've recently hit 200,000 subscribers, so I did want to say a massive shout out to all of you guys who are subscribed, watching all my videos. It means a hell of a lot to me, so thank you for doing that. And if you're new to the channel, guys, remember just subscribe, turn on your notifications, and you won't miss a video. With Bendy and the Ink Machine coming to a wrap next Friday, as of uh, the recording of this video at least, we will be doing a full week of Bendy and the Ink Machine content. Every day there will be at least one video to do with Bendy and the Ink Machine for an entire week, which will include theories, it will include secrets, gameplays, and of course um, anything else that is important to the final chapter will be covered right here. So 
yeah, it's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be a great week, I think, and I'm very excited. If there's any news coming out before Chapter 5 releases, like new trailers or anything, I'll cover those as well. But yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. Check out the links I leave at the end of this video for more theories you may have missed, and I will see you guys on the next video.